Hey YouTube, this is John here. I've been asked uh, a few times about uh, providing some instructions on how to create this uh, DIY T-handle made out of PVC uh, to go with this modified Hopi cart. Um, this allows me to install the cart um, onto my compass uh, while still on the water. Uh, this will work with the Hobie Compass, like I said, the Hobie uh, Revolution, and also 2018 and older uh, Hobie Outbacks. Okay, so I'm going to go through um, all the items and tools you're going to need. This is uh, Electrical Conduit, um, Schedule 40 PVC. This is 24 to 25 inches in length. Uh, I decided to use this instead of the uh, regular white one. Next would be your uh, PVC glue, a PVC T. This is half inch at the bottom and two uh, three quarter inches on the side. Half inch PVC coupler, measuring tape, little marker. This is a six millimeter size kayak paddle uh, clip. I, don't know, it's, I think it's called a locking clip or retaining clip or pin, spring pin. Uh, I'm gonna give you a link uh, to Amazon where you can buy it in the description. Some scissors, some heavy uh, monofilament. You're gonna need a quarter inch drill bit on a drill. Uh, some kind of long stick. In this case, I'm using half inch dowel rod. Some foam for uh, flotation. Some tape, sandpaper, saw, hand saw. Some vice grips a mallet and I'm going to use this uh, 2x4 with a 1 inch hole drilled into it. You don't need this because uh, you can use the vice grip but this is uh, pretty helpful. So the first thing you uh, are going to want to do is to actually modify your Hobie cart. So it comes with these two end caps, right? You're going to need a heat gun, maybe some pliers, a flathead screwdriver, whatever you can do to pull these out and there's going to be some bungee tied to it just throw them all away next would be to um, measure the distance from the end of the tube to the uh, existing hole the center of that hole okay mine is about three quarter inch or maybe a little less so I duplicated this hole uh, onto the other post. Okay, so it's about the same distance from the end. All of them are a quarter inch in size hole. So you got one, two, three, and four holes. And that's gonna coincide with the uh, clip right here. Like that. Okay, so after you've obtained your uh, 24 or 25 inch uh, length of PVC, you're gonna to wanna to measure um, eight inches from the bottom. Okay. So right here, eight inches. And that's where you're gonna stop your PVC tube from entering the post. Okay? You're gonna stop right there. Make a little mark. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna um, modify this coupler uh, and just cut off one half of it and install it onto the pipe. And it's gonna be used as a little stop. So next, uh, you're gonna cut this uh, PVC coupler uh, in half. You do not want that inside ring, okay? So you just want like less than half. I'm gonna use some vice grips to hold it while I cut. Okay, a hand saw and something to elevate my PVC. And you're gonna want to cut less than half because you do not want that uh, little ring. Okay. So here it is. I'm just gonna sand it down some. Okay. 
You don't want to use a uh, PVC cutter because it tends to squeeze and create an oval instead of a circle and that's going to prevent it from sliding down the uh, PVC tube. Okay, so next you're going to want to install the uh, ring that you just cut um, into the uh, onto the PVC pipe. And it's going to be down to 8 inches, okay? And this is this is going to act as a stop so that it prevents the PVC tube from going too far down into the uh, post of the cart. So I'm just going to start off by putting it in by hand. Next I'm going to use a mallet. Okay, so at this point you need to slide this collar down uh, past this line, right? So what you can do is either get some vice grips like this and just hammer down right here or another option would be to use this 2x4 I drew it a 1 inch hole I'm going to set it on top hammer it down It's okay if you go too far because you can always hit it back up. Okay. So that's pretty much it where I want it. If you go far further up, then you can just install it the other way and hit it back down. Okay. But I'm pretty much at that line. So now I'm gonna test fit the collar. And you can see that it just stops the tube from going too far in. And this is on there pretty tight so it's not going to slip or slide. Next thing you want to do is you want to install the tube and get yourself a marker. Okay. And on one of the holes you're just going to mark the center of that hole with the PVC tube installed. Okay. And then you're going to want to confirm that this marker, this point, coincides with all the holes. And that's pretty close. This is pretty close. This is perfect. Okay. So now you want to use your quarter inch drill bit and drill a hole just on one side, not through the other side. Okay, and you're going to test to see if your pin fits. Okay, and it slides freely. And you're done with that step. Okay, after you drilled your hole, you wanna see if your hole still lines up. Okay. Okay, so next thing you'd want to do is um, install this spring clip onto your PVC tube. You cut yourself a little piece of uh, monofilament. Okay. 
So this string is going to help you pull the uh, pin out, the spring pin out, if you misalign it and you don't um, get it directly centered with this hole. Okay. You can start from the top and slide your monofilament down. And this is the long end. Okay, pull from the bottom, and then you get your little pin lined up with the hole. Okay. Slide it down. You can kind of see that it's kind of off center, okay? I'm just going to pull it out all the way. And you could try it again with the same method, okay? Another way to do it is to install it from the bottom. So you squeeze your pin, kind of line up where the hole is. Push it in with your thumb as far as you can. And then you use your towel, push up. Okay, and that one worked. You make sure that the pin moves in and out freely, okay? Alright, next thing you want to do is just trim off some of this. The remaining end, I'm gonna just tape it to the tube. In case something ever happens and I need to pull that pin back out, I have the string ready to go. And even with this extra tape on the tube, it still fits down the, um, the legs of the cart. Alright, so I'm going to tape it up. So it's flush with the tube and I can still install this. Make sure it locks in. Check the other side. Okay. Check the other post. Alright. It's good to go. If you feel like this is uh, sliding, you can always uh, drill a tiny screw or something. Screw it in there just to retain this. Okay, next thing you want to do uh, to make it float is to shove some uh, foam in. And you want to just shove it down all the way to this point and not past this because then it might interfere with uh, the pin, okay? So shove it down, use your dowel. Okay, so the last thing you're going to want to do is to install the T-handle, the T, onto your tube. And one of uh, the viewers on my YouTube channel suggested that I install it um, parallel to the little button. And it makes it easier to uh, grab the handle this way and turn it instead of starting off this way to turn. And I pretty much agree with him, so I'm going to install it this way, parallel to the pin, okay? I'm just going to make a little mark.
rub away some excess glue. Okay, let it set up and then you're pretty much good to go. So this is my old one. Uh, I'm gonna install a little rope and carabiner so that I can just uh, store it on my kayak without worrying about it falling overboard. So I'm gonna test it out, test it out now. Okay, here we go. Okay. So one thing to note, um, this length right here from the 8 inch point to the bottom of the T is about 16 inches, okay? And that's good length uh, to use for the uh, compass. But you might need a longer one for um, the Outback because I don't know how, how deep or how thick the hull um, is. Uh, compared to the opening of the scupper and the bottom of the hull, okay? So this is a good size for a compass and you might have to adjust this length uh, for your own kayak, okay? Alright, good luck with the process and I hope it works out for y'all.